mix the final day of the season. That's an opportunity for Cleveland that they need to pounce on. Well, about an eight second differential here, so Toronto is going to get this last shot if they come up with the ball. Foul is called on Palacio. No foul again. So now Galskis comes out to set the pick. Now Archibald picks up McGinnis, who shoots over. Two seconds remaining in the third quarter. Palacio from center court. Action back. Loser with 14 points. 11 rebound. Palacio with a nice move, but jump. Came over late, got a piece of it. Here's James, whipping by Bosch, and he is fouled. LeBron is headed to the line. Now Jalen Rose, his third team. Cavaliers want to get out to the open floor. Paul Silas knows this is when his team is at its best. LeBron trying to create something, and it is very difficult what he was trying to create, but draws the foul, goes to the line for two. He is five for eight from the free throw line tonight. Foul on Rose. And remember what you mentioned, Steve, earlier, that Toronto really puts emphasis on defending the three-point line. And there we see James asserting himself right away. I, I felt that he would come out here, try and do things. 74. Bosch. Uncontested. He missed the layup and caught it right there. A great executed play by Toronto, but screened by Bosch that actually freed himself up. Not sure how he missed that thing, though. Cavaliers lead by four. Petit set the pick. Shot clock down to five. McGinnis fires the three. Rebounded by Carter. McGinnis is down. He's hurt. Throws behind the back. I'm not able to score, but it's tipped home by Marshall. Boozer trying to go glass. Rebounded by Marshall. You see Toronto sticking with its defensive philosophy. No double team. That leaves them in great rebounding position. And they're able to clear the, clear the board and chance to tie or take the lead here. And they've tied the game as Bosch is able to hit that side jump. He has 11. They're 80 apiece. And it's all because of Carter's movement away from the ball, curling in the lane. Now, Gauskas went to pay a little bit of attention to him to help out his teammate. That's what opened Basha. It's the benefit of penetration rather than just settling for that long jump shot. Jalen Rose in the open court. Now, Gauskas is back. Who's able to grab the rebound? 14 rebounds along with 18 points for Carlos Boozer. Paul Silas upset with James. He wants him to push the ball, and James looks like he's just trying to walk the ball up the floor. And now all of a sudden, eight seconds on the shot clock. There's James, and he'll go to the line. He will check back in. It's like he went into the locker room and got that ankle retaped. Now Carter posting on Brown. Marshall. Shot clock to four. Peterson rebounded by Elgowski. Great possession, all for naught. Minute and a half remaining of the fourth. The game is tied at 82. There's James putting the move on Rose. Goes glass. LeBron James, who has struggled at the offensive end, just hit a big bucket. Well, there's one of the times where perhaps the philosophy backfired on Toronto because James is too big and strong for Rose down there. He just backed him down to a spot where he knew he could shoot it over the top. Now Carter putting the move on Noodle for the fadeaway. Yes! Oh, oh. And the game is tied at 84. There's your tough shot maker, not <laughs> tough shot taker. Or shooter. He was probing that time, too, wasn't yes, he? he was. Game is tied at 84, just under a minute. Remaining on the fourth. Hot clock, now to seven. Rogowskis spinning his way on Bosch. He lost it. And it's a 24-second violation. That was not pretty.
What they wanted to do was Elgowskis wanted to go over to Brown and into LeBron James in the post, but they denied the entry pass to Brown. There was nowhere for him to go back for. Therefore, it wound up in Zadrunas' hands. The crowd reacts as Jeff McGinnis checks back in. Let's go to Craig. Well, Mark, quickly, Max Benton, the uh, trainer, went in, sort of the doctors. All that Jeff McGinnis said is, put some tape on it. i got to get it back out there. Do it quickly. All right, so Jeff McGinnis, who missed the last nine games with a shoulder injury, he's played very well here tonight. Hurt his ankle. He's back. Carter rebounded by Bruiser. There is a six-second differential between the game clock and the shot clock. The game is tied at 84. They're on their feet here at Jumbo Arena. McGinnis working against Carter. Shot clock is down to six. Put the block clear. And a foul. McGinnis throwing the lob. James is fouled. He'll go to the line with 11 and 6 10 seconds remaining of the four. It was just terrible defensive position by Jalen Rose. He got up way too high. You knew that LeBron was going to run the back door. Bosch tries to come over and help out, but James is up too high. He goes to the line now to try and put him up in the game. James 10 for 13 at the line. The foul on Bosch. His fourth. 11 and 6 10 seconds remaining of the fourth quarter. Flux free throw shooting by the 19 year old rookie. And Toronto calls for time. It's the Cavaliers 86, the Raptors 84. couple times down, so maybe you use the screen, get Rose free, let him create for either Carter or himself. Well, there was a possession a couple minutes ago where Carter penetrated into the lane, found a teammate for an open look. I think some penetration and a three-point shot here. Why not go for it for the win? 11.6 remaining of the four. Carter will inbound. There's Rose. Ten seconds. Carter comes off the pick. Boss sets up the three. And here's the three. Rolls for the win. There it is. With four tenths of a second remaining in the fourth quarter, Cleveland takes its final timeout. The Raptors lead by one. The penetration by Vince Carter leads to the open look. Take a look. Nice little triple screen here for Vince Carter, and he'll curl right into the lane. This draws everybody on the Cavs defense, forced into a major rotation. That leaves Rose wide open, and this crowd is stunned. And they just play some time back on the clock. Six tenths of a second now remain. Carlos Boozer was the person that left his man in the corner, and that's where the whole the whole rotation started from. Boozer thought that Carter was going to shoot it, but remember, a two only ties the game. A three wins the game. So as you see, when Carter runs his curl and gets in the lane, Boozer needed to stay home. It's very difficult, but you'll see him fight at the last second. Stop it right there. There's Boozer, who has come from the corner. He's underneath trying to stop it. That forces the next man to run in the rotation, and that starts a chain reaction around the horn. That's why they swing it, swing it, and there's the guy wide open. You've got to understand what the score is. It's very tough to stay home away from the ball when your tendency is to help. Now remember, with six tenths of a second remaining, you can catch and shoot the ball. It does not have to be a tip. This is basically the season here for the Cavaliers. They don't score. They don't make the playoffs. Well, they would not be officially eliminated, but they would drop three behind Boston, and it would be very difficult with five to play following yeah, tonight. I'm saying unofficially, I see. It, but I think this crowd knows it. I think Paul Silas knows it. It's over for them if they can't come up with something. All right, six-tenths of a second remaining of the fourth. Ira Nubel will will throw it in. You got to go to your best athlete because it's tough to even get a shot off with just .6 left. I think James has to somehow pop open and get the shot off. Back pick lobs. Back pick lobs. That's what they're doing is looking over how the defense point shot by Jalen Rose and now Nubel will throw it in. No pressure on the passer right now. Nubel looking. 
Has to get it in. Just does get it in. It's broken up, and the Raptors have defeated the Cavaliers. A major dent to the playoff hopes of the Cleveland Cavaliers. The Raptors 87 and the Cavaliers 86. LeBron James did come up big in the fourth quarter with eight of his 21, but shot just five for 17. Vince Carter with 32 points on 13 of 28, but it was Jalen Rose who came on late, and Steve, as you mentioned, they might go for the three, and they did. Well, and I love the penetration by Carter because, as you said, Mike, the defense tends to collapse even though they know the, that a three will beat them. It's just a natural instinct as a basketball player. It's exactly what Toronto did. Rose knocks down the huge shot. All right, let's go to... And I was able to step up and knock down the three. Throughout the night, we mentioned a loss by Toronto tonight. They're eliminated from playoff consideration. How badly do you as an individual and the team, how badly do you guys want to make the playoffs? We really want to make the playoffs just like every team in the NBA. Obviously, we have some unfortunate situations happen during our year. And uh, we just got to keep battling to the end and see what happens. What are your chances? Our chances are slim, but hey, uh, we still got our opportunity. We're not going to give up. We're going to keep fighting. We're going to be pros about it and see what they so hot. <laughs> Well, uh, Jalen bringing yet another dimension to post-game interviews. So the Raptors go to 31 and 46. They remain alive, although slim hopes for their uh, playoff possibilities. Cavaliers 32 and 45. Coming up next, the Trailblazers and the Lakers. For the Czar, Mike. Very tough.